everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Explorer. I am Ken. And I am Andrea. And today we're going to be sharing with you everything that you need to know before sailing on Norwegian cruise lines. Now every cruise line can be a little bit different from each other, including every ship within a cruise line, but we want to share with you what we know to be true about sailing with Norwegian. We're going to talk about what you need to know before you book, what you need to know after you book, and everything on board the ship. So let's go check it out. So first of all, we want to start with what you need to know before you book with Norwegian. We know that Cruises come with different type of rooms, like your inside cabin, your balcony, your suites, your uh, windows. But on Norwegian, they have different category, different price points that you can book at. So we're going to start with the most affordable one, mm -hmm. which is the sail away. So this is your, your purchase on your cruise. It includes the complimentary dining and access to the activities and the pool but it doesn't include a lot of the extra paid for services. So if mm -hmm. you want that, you're gonna wanna look at the free at sea. Yeah, so the free at sea is kind of the next level up that you'll commonly hear. And it often includes perks, things like open bars, specialty dining, shore excursions, free Wi-Fi, flights, yes, free flights, or partially covered flights, as well as extra guests. So um, if you're wanting a lot of these things on your cruise, Free at sea might be a great option for you. The next one up is the Haven area, and this is kind of the elite area of the ship. I've been told that once you go Haven, you're not going to want to go back because it is really nice. You're going to have mm -hmm. access to the nicer cabins, but an exclusive area with pools, potentially hot tubs, dining options. So if you want that more prestigious cruise, you're going to want to look for the Haven Suites. So the second thing we want to talk about is after you've booked your cruise, what you need to know before you get on the ship. And the first thing we want to talk about is that Norwegian may, they don't send this to everyone, send you an email where you can upgrade your room on a kind of a bidding process. So again, not everyone gets this and not everyone gets approved with their bid. Last time we bid, I think $100 to upgrade actually from an inside to a balcony and it didn't get approved. But we've heard many other people who have bid for the exact same thing and have gotten it. So, um, hey, if you get that email and you want to try and get a great deal on an upgrade, give that a shot. Keep in mind though, you won't be able to choose the exact cabin that you want. You're choosing a category and once it's accepted, if it is accepted, it's final. You can't go back. So mm -hmm. make sure you're okay with that. Yeah. And as well, I wanted to mention that um, you may find out right away mm -hmm. and you may not find out until you're boarding the ship that your bid was accepted. So you have yeah. to be okay of not knowing what you're going to get. And you don't know where that room is going to be. So if it's, if you're really picky about your room location, this is probably not for you, but you should be aware of it. Um, next up, we wanted to talk about gratuities and gratuities. Everybody has to pay gratuities on the ship if you're three and older, and they have a couple different categories of gratuities. I don't know if you want to take yeah. it over. Yeah, yeah. So if you're gonna stay in some of the Haven concierge or the suites, you're looking at eighteen dollars US per person mm -hmm. per day. And if you're staying in a inside or a balcony or a window cabin, you're gonna be looking at fifteen dollars US per person per day. As well, keep on keep in mind that the drinks also run a 20% gratuities on top of that. And if you've selected the specialty dining, mm -hmm. those packages will also add a 20% gratuity based on their value, regardless of how much you drink. So yeah. I know on the last cruise my mom went on, they valued the drink package at $100 a day. So there was a $20 US charge on per day uh, in gratuities extra as well. You should know that, um, yeah. your, if you go to the salon or mm -hmm. if you go for a massage, those services will also add 20% gratuities. The other thing I do want to mention is this is kind of a standard tipping on the ship, mm -hmm. but if people go the extra mile and do more for you, you are more than welcome to tip extra because we've every cruise we've been on. People have been so amazing and they definitely earn the money they make. So, um, we wanted to talk about gratuities. Next up, we wanted to talk about pre-booking 
things on the Norwegian website and their app. So I would say this, when we got on um, the Norwegian Joy this past summer, by the mid afternoon on the first day, so two, three o'clock, a lot of the shows and different things were already booked mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go on the Norwegian a website, an app ahead of time, pre-book specialty dining, pre-book your shows, mm -hmm. pre-book excursions, and make sure you do that because again, um, it takes a lot of stress off when you get on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, not everything was available to pre-book on, on the website, but book as much as you can, especially those um, specialty dining and specialty shows. The other thing you can choose is your embarkation time, which is mm -hmm. really great because it stops everybody from arriving at the port at the same time. It helps eliminate the lineup, so I appreciate that they do this. So if you, do, if you want to be one of the first ones on the ship though, you're going to want to choose your time as soon as possible because they do limit the number of people you know, within a certain amount of time. So that is a great thing they've done to help organize embarkation. So make sure you go and select your time. Mm -hmm. The one last thing before you go, you should be aware of Norwegian's reward program and it's called Lat the Latitudes program. You collect points, I believe it's one point for every night on the ship. You can earn different things like free bottles of champagne, um, discounts on the ship for um, all sorts of different stuff. So make sure you sign up for that so you don't miss out on any rewards, especially if you're gonna cruise Norwegian a whole bunch. Number three, we want to talk about dining. Now, one thing I really love about Norwegian is they have my time dining. So you can eat dinner when you want to. You don't need to have a 5.30 seating or a 9.30 seating. You can go for dinner when you want. You can be flexible. Now, I would recommend that if you are picky about the time that you want to eat that you make a reservation mm -hmm. or if you're traveling with a group or especially a large group now online i'm not sure if it's six or eight people in your party you can book with but if you have a even larger party you can call norwegian and they'll make those reservations for you ahead of time mm -hmm. so i love that about norwegian that you can eat when you want you can just eat with your best friend with your spouse or mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of options there so I appreciate about that about Norwegian. And if you've watched our vlog series, you'll know Andrea and I do like to eat early. Like we will commonly go down to the main dining room at five o'clock. And the one cool thing about Norwegian ships is they commonly have one of their main dining rooms right at the back of the ship with glass. So if we show up right at five, we can typically get a window seat, the most beautiful dinner overlooking the ocean. Um, we've done that on the Jewel, we've done that on the Joy, and it's just been wonderful. So, um, especially if you're from the East Coast, you can, hit, five o'clock is eight o'clock for you, like it's a, it's a great dining time, so um, try doing that. The other thing we did want to mention is that Norwegian um, does not really have a typical formal night. They have a dress up if you want to night, so um, if, you're, if you want to dress up, go ahead and do that. There's typically photographers all over the ship, you can take pictures. But uh, I just thought we'd mention that as well. Now, Norwegian has a lot of dining options. They do have their complimentary uh, formal dining. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken put together a video on what we had included on our Norwegian Joy ship. Yeah, I'll link that in the description below. And um, you can check that out if you want to see what the complimentary food looked like um, on the Norwegian Joy this summer. So. But ours included, we had the taste, the savor, the Manhattan the local mm -hmm. which was a pub as well as they had of course your buffet and there was also food in the observation lounge but then there on deck eight yeah. on the joy there was a whole variety of specialty dining yeah so those do cost extra unless you've purchased your um, room with one of your free perks with the specialty dining uh there is an extra charge for those as well as a 20% gratuities, yeah. but really great food and great variety to mm -hmm. choose from. Your mom was just at Tapanyaki. Yeah. That's a really popular one. Yeah. So make sure you book that one ahead of time. It's kind of the, um, where they're flinging food and I don't know, it's just crazy. So check that one out. Um, Cagney's, the steakhouse, they have La Bistro, they have all sorts of like, um, and they're slipped my mind now, Italian restaurants and seafood restaurants. So, um, there's all sorts of paid restaurants, as well as they had the kind of 50s burger joint. Uh, American Diner. American Diner, yes. Yeah. 
And actually, American Diner was free for breakfast. They mm -hmm. had a typical breakfast buffet, but for lunch and dinner, burgers, stuff like that, they did have a smaller fee for that. A little side note that is important to some people is that um, unfinished wine can be corked and saved for later. Because mm -hmm. some people want to know about that. If they purchase a bottle of wine, you don't have to drink it all in one setting. They will cork it for you. Now, something that was really exciting uh, that we enjoy, but especially my mom when she just went on the Norwegian Joy, is that they have Starbucks. Yeah. A full Starbucks on the ship. On the Joy, there was two. Yeah, I think this is a common thing that Norwegian's doing now, and they were quite large Starbucks. Um, and the pricing was similar, like we sailed out of Seattle, the pricing was similar to off the ship. Mm -hmm. And you could use your Starbucks gift card to purchase in there and collect points if you do that. Um, so Starbucks is kind of a common thing that you might see on there. You could also pay with your room key as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's just a yeah. side note. If you're, when you're on your ship, all your purchases are made with your room key. So um, I do have mine right here. <laughs> that's what they kind of look like. Um, it's just like a credit card st sized key and um, that's how you make your purchases. So there is free coffee though everywhere on yeah, the ship. So, so don't think that you have coffee, to buy it at Starbucks. Coffee, tea. They have, um, in the morning actually, they have in their buffet, um, they have juice, orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, yeah. all was included. There was milk. And then at lunch, it typically switched to lemonade, iced tea, and some fruit punches. Mm -hmm. So there is um, that through throughout the day. You can get as much of that as you want. And when we were dining for dinner, it would often not be included on the menu, but there would be... Um, iced tea or lemonade or your regular black coffee you can ask for those they'll bring those to you complimentary as well yeah so if you don't see it on the menu go ahead and ask like yeah. what beverages are complimentary if you don't have a drink package and you just want some because the coffee on the menu actually was only the specialty coffees they didn't actually show black coffee on there so um, if you want black coffee with your dessert that is a great option. The other thing we wanted to mention was room service. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, there's been a little changes over the years. Actually, a lot of changes right across many of the cruise lines. You know, uh, it wasn't long ago that a lot of the cruise ships, all that all the room service was complimentary mm -hmm. uh, most of the day. And most lines are moving away from this. Now, when we were on the Joy, you could order complimentary breakfast. There was a small list that had no charge whatsoever and then there was um, more complicated breakfast options that you could order and there was a fee but they're now starting to charge um, up to $7.95 per order not per item but per order for kind of a delivery for fee delivery fee yeah. and you gotta look because things keep changing um, sometimes there's a delivery fee on top of the price of the item and sometimes the item is complimentary but there's a delivery fee so mm -hmm. Um, if you're on a budget and you're really like trying to watch your money, you're going to want to just kind of read the details and make sure you mm -hmm. understand them when you're... But again, there's so many options if, if you leave your room for breakfast. So Absolutely. that is dining. Number four is our miscellaneous onboard information that you need to know. Mm -hmm. Now, just like with any cruise line, you're going to need to do a muster drill. It is mandatory. Um, it is a safety um, protocol that they got to gather everyone together and practice what they would do in case of an emergency. So now on Norwegian, your room key will have a code. If you're not sure where you need to go during the muster drill, you can ask anyone who works on the ship. They will be able to help direct you to the right place. Now this is mandatory. Everybody must mm -hmm. go. Everybody must bring their room key. They will be scanning every single room making, or sorry, every room key, making sure every single person yeah. is accounted for. Um, they will show you how to put the life jacket on. Yeah. However, you will not be, at least when we cruised last, we were not required to put on yeah. the life jacket. Um, things I would keep in mind though, if you have mobility issues, I would head down early so that you can get a seat you can get comfortable and relaxed yeah. because it gets really busy and mm -hmm. really crowded and so if you're not able to stand for a long time i would head down early maybe bring a drink sit down and relax and that way you're comfortable yeah i like to call it the mustard drill <laughs> but um yeah so we didn't have to wear a life jacket other cruises we've been on we've had to wear put the life jacket on so 
Just thought I'd mention that. Next, we wanted to mention internet. So if you haven't gotten the internet package, um, internet can be quite pricey, especially if you just want to use it for a little bit. Um, and you do pay for internet on the ship, so or for Wi-Fi, so make sure you're aware of that. The other thing a lot of people have been asking is about um, smoking in the casinos. And I know some ships allow you to smoke in the casino and others will have a designated room. Um, the Joy had a designated room with a glassed off area um, that you could smoke in there. So um, some people, you know, if you want to have access to the whole casino and smoke, um, not all ships will have that for you. Laundry. <laughs> Laundry, huh, of course. <laughs> okay, so now Norwegian, on the ships that we have sailed on, they do not have self-serve laundry, but they mm -hmm. do have um, paid laundry service where you can pay for Norwegian to do your laundry for you. I also just wanted to put a quick note back to I was thinking about internet, but cell phones. Um, oh, yeah. I would highly, highly recommend when you get on board that you put your phone into airplane mode yeah. because you will get a probably a very nasty bill yeah. uh, from your cell phone provider if your phone has tried to log or connect with the uh, the ship because they do have cell phone services there, their satellite, and they're very, very, very pricey. Yeah. So if you're tempted to use your phone, inquire first, find out how yeah. it works. Otherwise, put your phone into Be airplane safe. mode. Airma yeah. Airplane mode, you know you won't get charged. Yeah. Uh, then we have kids programs to talk about. Mm -hmm. Our kids have not sailed with us on Norwegian so we haven't personally experienced it, but they do have free children's programs. Yep. And the families that we talked to, they were laughing because they had a really hard time getting their kids to come out of the kids program because yep. they wanted to stay there all day. They were having so much fun. So what we heard is that um, the children were loving the kids programs. Mm -hmm. And shopping on board. So shopping on board, there's, I don't, I don't know exactly how many shops. So say the Norwegian Joy maybe had like five or six shops. So you've got your duty free shop, you've got jewelry stores, you've got- They have the beauty shop. The beauty shop. Um, there's kind of the souvenir shop. And so if you're looking for shopping on the ship, if you're looking for jewelry now, this is the place for you. There's so many watches and um, rings and diamonds. If you want to be all sparkly with diamonds everywhere, this is probably a good place to buy, um, buy that. But if you're looking for clothing, um, not a lot of options. There's a little bit to choose from, but mostly um, Norwegian souvenir type clothing, not... Um, Don't plan to find a dress for the mm -hmm. evening uh, or a pair of shoes. You're going to be really, really, really limited. Yeah. They do though, we're, we're surprised. They do have things like shampoo. Yeah, so the shampoo I buy here at home, maybe three, four bucks, um, was $10 on the ship. So make sure that if you have a special shampoo that you want, you bring it with you. Don't forget it because it can get quite pricey. Sunscreen, that sort of stuff is fairly pricey on the mm -hmm. ship. I mean, in your room there is uh, like- um, Body gem, wash. Body and wash, shampoo. yeah, and soap. But um, but if you want something special, make sure you bring that with you. Yeah, the other thing that the cruise line loves to sell is artwork. So if yeah. you're into art, this is probably a good place for you because they've got a lot of art that you can mm -hmm. uh, purchase while on board. So if you like art, you're going to want to check out their gallery. Yeah. Okay, so number five is entertainment and onboard activities. And we want to start out, first of all, by saying make sure you read your Freestyle Daily. It's a daily newsletter that shows you all the activities. So if you don't read this, you are going to miss out on a ton of stuff free like cooking shows, dancing lessons, all sorts of stuff, um, as well as it tells you when everything's starting throughout the whole day. Um, make sure you read this, lots of important information. So make sure, um, actually read it closely. It typically comes out the night before um, in your room and your room steward will leave it on your bed or something. So um, check that out. The other thing on the ship, there are interactive boards in a lot of the newer ships. So. Um, by the elevators, you'll find this probably on the, on the Joy, Bliss, the newer ships that are out, the Encore is coming, um, and in your room as well. So you can, you can book things like go-karting or restaurants right on the TV screen, right by the elevators. Um, in your room as well, you could book things. So um, make sure you check those out. If you don't want to go wait in line down you know, at the excursion desk or wherever, um, try and book them on there first. There's also a lot of information available 
on the Norwegian app. If you've downloaded that before the cruise, mm -hmm. you can access that to see um, what you've already reserved as a reminder. Sometimes I forget what we've... <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Make sure you download the Norwegian app on your phone before you get on, especially if you're not paying for the Wi-Fi package because you won't be able to download it. Yeah. Um, make sure that's pre-downloaded. Um, the other thing is the main shows on the ship. So um, this summer we had Elements and... Footloose. Footloose. Yeah. And they are fantastic shows, the main production shows. Mm -hmm. um, there was more shows besides those, but those are free and they did require tickets. Now there was kind of a waiting line that a few people could get in at the end, um, but make sure you pre-book those on the website. I would book them before you get on the ship. And there's other stuff that was free, like the comedy shows were free, but you had to book tickets for those. Um, we should mention though, the comedy you could not book until you were on the ship though. Yes, so I would like I, I would just go book that all the stuff you want right when you get on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, as well but some of the stuff you didn't need to pre-book like there was a magician on our last ship pj Wen, i believe and um that was just in the freestyle daily but yet there was hundreds and hundreds of people who went to that um and so, a lot of people who didn't know about it because they didn't read the freestyle they said we heard about it afterwards and they were really disappointed yeah. so take the time look through it it'll tell you everything that's going to be happening when stuff is opening up mm -hmm. you're going to want to read it yep yeah. Um, extra charge entertainment. So, um, there is quite a bit of entertainment on the ship that you will be paying extra for. Um, there's so much to do that's free, but there is stuff, um, video games, the galaxy pavilion, if they have like 40 kind of racing cars or different things like that, you pay for go karts, spa treatments, haircuts, um, haircuts, <laughs> Massage. <laughs> yeah, massages. So that stuff is not included. Mm -hmm. Um, there even had on our last cruise, there was one show that was not included I, wine lovers the musical mm -hmm. you did have to pay for that however it did include wine, wine a whole bunch dinner. of wine and and dinner so um there are shows and entertainment that you do have to pay mm -hmm. for activities that are free well you can go to the gym for free however there are going to be some extra classes that may have additional fee with them but getting to go into the gym there's mm -hmm. no charge and the gym is gorgeous like yeah. their gyms are really nice uh most of the ships we've been on they have a nice ocean view so you're gonna want to check out the gym mm -hmm. pools and hot tubs and water slides those are all free unless you want to like pay for to go into an exclusive area the general pools and such are mm -hmm. free as well as uh, like mini golf there was no charges for that one thing i do want to mention as well the hot tubs on norwegian um, so if you're cruised on other companies, you may have noticed the hot tubs might be open till midnight on particular lines or 10 on Norwegian, the hot tubs do close at 10 o'clock at night. So if you're hoping to go for that 11 o'clock hot tub, you're out of luck. Um, other things free cooking demos, make sure you read your freestyle daily. There's fruit carving. Um, some of the specialty dining will come and make sushi or different things like that. Um, what else? Uh, dance classes. You can always learn different styles of dance. And on our last cruise, they also had singing lessons. Yeah, Thank singing. <laughs> I didn't try, no. but... Uh... I, I did see you dancing during the... <laughs> it was Canada Day on the ship, and you were dancing, I think. That's right. It was a little challenging for me. It is not my, like, brightest moment. But it was fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. So number six, we want to talk about our cabin and our room key. Our room key was the new RFID room keys, so they're really convenient to get into your room. You just tap them. We kept our room key inside our lanyard for convenience because mm -hmm. I find that easier. But the thing is, when you get inside your cabin, the lights don't work until you put a card in the slot right inside the door. Now, we didn't like taking our key in and out in and out of our mm -hmm. lanyard so we actually just used our costco card which is a really good quick hack so you don't have to pull uh your lanyard out and pull the key out so mm -hmm. really quick made it easier and the thing you need to know is the lights don't work but also the power doesn't turn on until there is a card in the slot yeah so and norwegian is really strict about this they don't want you to leave stuff plugged in while you're not in the cabin. Yeah. They have warnings in your cabin that everything needs to be unplugged 
when mm -hmm. you leave, so that's really important. And your room steward will actually unplug stuff if he comes in there um, when you're not in there. Mm -hmm. I do want to also mention that um, because these are RFID, they didn't want to punch a hole in them because we all of our old cruises that we did, they we just clip a punch a hole in there and clip it on there. But now we went and bought these plastic sleeves. I'll put a link to those below in the description if you do want to pick some up on Amazon. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the plugs. There aren't a whole lot of plugs in the room. So I'd highly recommend bringing a splitter, like a USB splitter or uh, like a, um, a plug splitter um, that you can plug in there so you can charge all your devices. Everything charge needs to be charged nowadays. So um, I'll put a link as well with this down below if you want to pick up. I've got a few different options for USB splitter, so we'll put those down there. And I wanted to mention that... Um, Surge protectors. I yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. I'm sitting here all like a deer in the headlights. Surge protectors. Um, they won't allow plugs with surge protectors, so um, make sure you don't bring those. Beds. Beds. I was really happy. Um, the beds were really comfy when we cruised with Norwegian. Mm -hmm. If you like an extra soft bed, you can also ask them to bring in one of those egg, is it egg crepe toppers that they'll put on top yeah. if you need. So remember, when you're cruising, if you're finding something uncomfortable, make sure you tell your room steward. Mm -hmm. They want you to have a wonderful cruise and they will help uh, do as much as they can to make you comfortable. So make yeah. sure you let them know. And the beds... Um... Like you can have them separate if you need two beds or together as well to make yeah, them Yeah, so if you're cruising with a friend and you show up and they've got one big king size bed, just yeah. ask them, they'll separate it into two beds. It's yeah. not, not a big deal at all. Um, the other thing, there's lots of stuff in the cabin. So there's a hair dryer in there. Mm -hmm. um, there's like a little mini fridge now. Mm -hmm. There's stuff in the fridge. So if you want them to remove that, you can ask. Um, in the bathroom, there is Shampoo, shampoo, body wash. Um, I believe in, depends on the category, but our room had like a pump, but I think some categories you may get little bottles, but um, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily high quality shampoos and things. So if your specific needs want <laughs> high if quality, you're picky, if you're picky, bring your own. Bring I your bring own. my own. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I would, um, oh, there's also in our closet was a safe. Yes, so, a safe. And they highly recommend when you're cruising, because you know, there are just for your own safety of your own stuff. Like uh, keep your passport and your money and your valuables in the safe. It's yeah. just a good practice that you should do on any cruise Yeah, line. and your life jackets were in your room as well. So um, up on the... Hopefully you never need them though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what else do we want to talk about? The TVs were... The TVs, yes. They're on our ship, and I don't know if on the older ships if this is true as well, the TVs were interactive, like we mentioned earlier, so you can... Um, not only watch television, which they had a lot of variety of news, uh, I think movies. there was three movie channels. There was a whole bunch of channels on just um, excursions and um, views from out of the, uh, the, where deck. the deck and different things like that, um, as well as some of the shows that have been on. But there's news, there's movies. Um, Stuff for some, all ages. Some children's channels yeah. and, and different things like that. And for making up your room, your steward... They would do it twice a day, so they'd come, I don't want to say the morning, <laughs> towards lunch. Late morning. Um, and make up your room as well as they'd come do a turn down, I guess, in the evening as well. So. And there is a little uh, button in your cabin on the newer ships that you can click that you want your room made up. And mm -hmm. the room steward can see you can, when your room yeah. key is in, it shows that you are in your cabin. So. Yeah, so outside of the room, it'll say make up room or, uh, I don't remember the exact terms, but it'll kind of indicate whether you want them to make up the room or not so or privacy type of thing yeah that's great so that's your cabin stateroom number seven is cruise next this is a program that norwegian uses to try and get you to put a deposit down on a future cruise while you are cruising now this is a great option if you love to cruise and you want to cruise again you are rewarded for buying a deposit and you don't even need to say which cruise or when you want to cruise you just put down your deposit and they will give you a reward i believe uh, i was sometimes it's like you put down a 250 dollars deposit and you may get a hundred dollar room credit while you're on that cruise currently mm -hmm. that you were on so 
it's a really good deal um, if you plan on cruising again and who doesn't want to keep cruising yeah. it's a great deal so you can actually go online and google cruise next with Norwegian and the information will pop up there that you can take a look at yeah I'd highly recommend checking that out number eight so that was a quick one number eight is disembarkation and we want to talk about a few things here first off you are going to receive something that looks like this which makes everyone sad you'll be leaving soon and um once you get that everybody cries on the ship <laughs> but um so you'll need to go pick up luggage tags and on the back it kind of shows you the different luggage colors so um self assist starts at seven o'clock on the last cruise we were on all the way to you can get off at the latest at 9 45 and there's all sorts of different categories so you need to go pick up luggage tags they'll announce this in your freestyle daily so make sure you keep an eye on that um on our last one it was a couple days before the end of our cruise so um start planning that especially if you're trying to catch flights or different things you'll want to go grab your early passes or maybe you're like us and we wanted to save her every minute and we tried to be the last ones off the ship so <laughs> I, I do want to mention um we have a family member that because you actually the night before they'll put this all in the information for you mm -hmm. they'll tell you what time to put your luggage outside because they'll take the luggage down and have it ready for you when you get off the ship but we had a family member that didn't keep an extra set of clothes and another customer or cruiser bumped into them and they ended up in a mess and they had no other clothes for the cruise mm -hmm. and it was very uncomfortable and awkward and and unfortunately at that time all the stores had closed on the yeah. ship and they couldn't buy anything so I would you know don't send everything make sure you've got your medication you've got your passport yeah. you've got an extra set of clothes 100%. so that you um don't get yourself in a pickle so. yeah quick tip make sure your passport is in when you're getting on the ship like you don't pack it always sure, keep it always with keep you. it with you um and also a pair of swim trunks so you can jump in that hot tub right away so yes, yeah, so now I should go back to disembarkation <laughs> as I'm embarking because I want to go on the next cruise. Um, so disembarkation, then in the morning, um, typically they have all the restaurants, not all the restaurants, but buffet open as well as um, one of the formal dining rooms. Go grab a breakfast. You did pay for that day. Um, it's one of your, your seven days on the ship. So make sure you go grab breakfast there. And, Enjoy your breakfast. Yeah. And they'll start calling numbers and at that time you can go line up to get off the ship and then head all the way home <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right so if you enjoyed this video on everything you need to know before sailing on norwegian cruise lines make sure you smash that like button also remember to subscribe to northern viking explorer because we've got tons of videos coming up that we'd love to share with you. We haven't booked another cruise yet, but we are looking at a whole bunch of them. So hopefully there's another vlog series coming up soon for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy cruising.